Hey friends, it's Kelly. Thanks for joining me. I am back with a new layout for Hip Kit Club. I am going to start my video today with a short Cricut Design Space tutorial. And I'm actually going to start on the Hip Kit Club website. I'm going to show you how to download the cut files and then upload them into Design Space. Now you do have to have an account in order to see the cut files. It's free to register. You just enter your email address and create a password. Some of the cut files are subscriber exclusives. Others are freebies and available to everyone. So you'll want to create the account so that way you can check out the cut files that are available. Once you are logged in, you want to click on the cut files tab. It will then show you the months that are available. Select whichever month you are wanting. Then it'll show you the images of the cut files for that month. Click on the image that you are wanting to download and then that will take you to the screen where you can download the cut file to your computer. After you've clicked on the download button, it will download the cut file as a zip file and you have to extract those images from that zipped file in order to have access to them to upload them into Cricut Design Space. To unzip this file, you're going to click on extract all. Then the screen will then come up and ask you for the area that you want to save the cut files. Once you have them saved, you want to go ahead and go into Cricut Design Space. You're going to click on Upload Image. And this next part's going to get a little botchy because I can't show you my images gallery because I have cut files from the cut shop on there that have not been released yet. So you can't see them. So, but you'll click on Upload Image. And then once you get to the next screen, you're going to want to click on the Upload button underneath the image icon. You will then come to this screen, you want to click on browse, and then you want to go to whatever area on your computer that you saved the cut file images to. For the particular project that I'm going to be making today, I am going to select the SVG version of this cut file. The image will pop up on the screen and then you want to click save and it will add it to your images gallery. Now the reason that I chose the SVG version of this cut file rather than the PNG version is an SVG version you can ungroup. So I just right clicked on the cut file, selected ungroup, and this will allow me to separate those images from each other without having to use the slice feature. Now not all of the HipKit Club cut files come with an SVG version. You can always upload a PNG cut file into Design Space. I did make a Cricut tutorial for the cut shop showing how to upload a PNG file into Cricut Design Space. I will link to that in the description below, but keep in mind all of the HipKit Club cut files will come as a zipped file, so you'll always have to do the extract all process with the HipKit Club cut files. Now, after I ungrouped those images and separated them, there's a little bit of a bald spot in one of those hearts. For the design that I am creating today, it doesn't really matter because the picture is going to cover up that area. But I just wanted to show you that you can use the slice feature to grab a floral image from the other heart that you will not be using and then weld it into the larger heart to make it look like the heart is filled with the floral images in case you weren't placing your photo over that area and you wanted the heart to look like it was filled in and that it was complete. If you're not familiar with the slice feature, basically what you'll do is you'll insert a shape, lay it on top of the portion of the cut file that you're wanting to use, select the cut file and the shape that you have inserted, and then go to the layers tab and click slice, and it will remove just that small portion of the cut file. It will slice out whatever your shape is touching, so make sure that you're trying to only grab the areas that you're really wanting to use. Then you can go over to the edit tab, use the mirror feature, kind of shrink it, enlarge it, however you need to, just to get it to fill in that area. Once you have it sized and positioned in the spot that you like it, you'll want to just draw a box over that area so that way you select both the cut file image and that small floral area that you have inserted into the larger heart. And then you're going to go to the layers tab and you're going to click weld and that will group everything together. Then you'll just need to resize it, send it to the cutting mat, and you're good to go. So this is the photo that I'm going to be using today. It's kind of a funny photo from a family session that we had done. My sister's a photographer and she took some family pictures of us. I'll talk a little bit more about the photo a little later on in the video. There you can see the cut file image and I was going through some different card stocks that are available in the February 2017 kits and I will be using the February kits for my entire layout today. And I was going through just trying to figure out which cardstock I wanted to use. And I know I used that blue cardstock on my last layout also, but I just loved how the cut file image just really popped off that darker color cardstock. So that is the cardstock background that I am going to use for my layout today. 
Now I'm just gonna back my photo on a couple layers of vellum. I thought about adding a white border around the photo, but because the cardstock background is so dark and I don't really have any other white elements that I'm gonna be placing on the page, I decided against it. I thought just a couple layers of vellum would work out really well, give a little bit of definition to the photo without being too distracting. So while I'm working on getting the photo adhered to the vellum, I'll talk a little bit more about the photo. As I mentioned, my sister is a professional photographer and we had a family session last fall and she always includes these goofy, funny, outtake type photos in the gallery and I absolutely love those photos. Those are always some of my favorites because I just really feel like it captures who we truly are. Sometimes those stage photos, it's hard to see personality and different things and really capture the true essence of who you are as a family. And this photo, Aiden is always making these goofy, funny faces, and he's always making us laugh. So when I saw this photo in the gallery, I knew that I had to scrapbook it right away. And I think this is the first photo from that session that I have scrapbooked. And it's just because I love it so much. It's just who we are. And I just wanted to make sure that I got that documented. Okay, so back to the layout. I don't think I mentioned that the cut file image is cut on one of the Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams pattern papers that's available in the main kit. And now I'm gonna start coming in with some different embellishments. I do use a large majority, if not all, Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams ephemera, chipboard stickers. Those are all available in the February kits. Right now I'm adding some of the florals from the ephemera pack just right along that left-hand side. I'm gonna bring in that gold chipboard bow. I also added a sentiment underneath the photo. I liked how it just really helped frame the photo. I'm going to add a bird to the top right hand corner of that heart and then I'll also bring in another chipboard sentiment piece and place it right underneath the bird. So now I'm going to bring the layout just a little bit closer to the camera. I did add some machine stitching around the border of that heart and I added my journaling using my We Are Memory Keepers Typecast typewriter. And the bell does not work on my typewriter and I can never remember how far it will let me go before I should send it back the opposite direction. So I was typing and it wouldn't go any further. So I have a little bit of a spot that I'm going to have to figure out how to cover up and I do cover that up a little later on in the video. I know I've mentioned in previous videos that we have a new sketch that is released each week in the Hip Kit Club Facebook forum, but this week Megan, Tanya, and myself are doing something a little bit different. We are actually scrap lifting a layout from another design team member, B, and it's a really gorgeous layout with a large cut file image. So I will make sure to link to the Hip Kit Club Facebook forum in the description below so you can head over and check out B's layout also. So this is the point in the layout where I'm trying to figure out what I can do to cover up that typo. I grab a few different stickers, but I'm just really not happy with how it's looking. I'm really trying to figure out what I want to do. I thought about mixing some paints together to almost use it like a whiteout in that area, but obviously it would be the same blue color as the cardstock. But I was worried that I wouldn't get the paint mixture correct and it would actually make it stand out more. So I'm going to go ahead and add my date stamp as I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. And what I end up deciding to do is to cut out a piece of cardstock from underneath the cut file. So you'll never know that that piece of cardstock is missing. And then I'm just going to adhere that small little portion that I cut out on top of that typo. By the time that I get this layout into a page protector, you're never going to be able to see that teeny tiny piece of cardstock that I use to cover up my typo down there. So I thought that was a good solution to the problem. Now I'm going to bring in some still shots of the layout. I do want to mention that this will be my last layout as a Hip Kit Club design team member for this term. I have so enjoyed my time on this team. It has been such an honor to work with such amazing designers. I am so thankful for the new friendships that I have made. I want to give a huge thanks to Kimberly, Kim, and all of the design team girls and all of the Hip Kit fans that were so supportive during my time on this team. I'll be back again soon with a new layout and new process video. I am going to continue making videos and continue making layouts. So stay tuned for a new video soon. Thank you so much for watching.